G'day Earthlings, how's it going? My name's Max from LOE, hope you're doing bloody well and welcome to our video running through Diplomatic Orders mission. So we'll get straight on with it, go into missions, mission journal and then straight down into Diplomatic Orders. We have a diplomatic. Let's do it. So we'll get that loaded and we will see you at the mission start. Right, welcome back. So we're just about to start the um, mission. We're going into the Vulcan system. I'm currently using a Valiant Technical Escort, which is like a newer version of the uh, Defiant from DS. Greetings. Thank you for agreeing to escort the Ambassador to the Gem. Ambassador Soketh is currently attending a ritual to honor the end of the Call Wreck holiday. He will be done soon, but the Ambassador is hesitant to use transporter technology. Oh. His bias against the transporters is not logical. But I have come to accept it. All oh, right, that's very gracious of you, right? So he doesn't want to use the transporters. I believe that Soketh would be much more comfortable traveling by shuttlecraft. I have received clearance for you to land near the ambassador's location. I look forward to meeting you in person. Yeah, you too, Sheila. Let's go and see her. Okay, Dad. So board the shuttle. Let's do it. Right, so we're in Balkan. We might see Spock. Oh, we didn't want the captain's chair. Right, land shuttle. Starfleet shuttlecraft. This is Vulcan Orbital Control. G'day. You are cleared to land at the requested coordinates. Welcome to Vulcan. Please enjoy your stay. Come on again. What the hell? It looks a bit desolate, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Follow the big green arrow. I think this is quite a simple mission. This is just like an introduction, so you get used to the controls and stuff. But, uh, yeah, we're going to see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Head to the plateau. See where these buggers. Good eye. Yeah, there's not much greenery at this place. It's a bit green, to be honest. Speak to these buggers and see what this fellow's got to say for himself. Welcome to Vulcan. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Uh, yeah, where's all the plants? Uh, I don't think we need to look at any of them for now. Right, I think this is the Sheila we were talking to before. I've done that. Right, it's a bit bloody slow. I'm playing this on the PS4, so uh, sometimes it's a little bit slower. Seems a lot quicker on the PC, but uh, yeah, there you go. Bloody hell, it's a big barbecue. Got a few steaks going on there. Right, we'll just go down this uh, path. We'll get back to the uh, shuttle. Like I say, I think this is a very easy mission, this very beginning of the Klingon story. Starfleet Off Shuttle we go. Road. We have logged your flight trajectory and you are clear for departure. Live long and prosper. All oh, thanks, mate. Right. Let's see what it's got us doing now. Good ship, this. Um, some of the escorts, it's they're not as good like with shields and stuff. You get your ass kicked quite easily, but uh, once you get some good shields on it, uh, yeah, it's got a bit of firepower on it. Uh, it's a good little ship, really. That's a P gem. Here we go. Right. Scanning the 
did you get? Let's see what's bloody out there. Right, we've got some bird of prize coming. Battle stations. Toward the shapeshifter aboard your vessel. They have died with honor. But if I am to die this day, then I would prefer to regale the halls of Stovokor with the tale of that foul creature's death. Yeah. Shapeshifter. Ha! So even the mighty Federation has been fooled by the beast. Your guest from Vulcan is not as he or she seems, right. Captain. They are an undine. They put on a false face and try to control us. But we Klingons know better. We will hunt them down until the last of these honorless dogs die screaming. Oh, so he thinks Roof? it's an undine. Ah! Allow me to stick a blade in its belly while I look it in the eye while it dies. Bloody hell. That should be proof enough, even for Starfleet. Okay, so I'll take that into consideration. If you wish the honor of the kill yourself, then it is yours to have. So long as the Undine dies, I will meet my death with eyes wide open and victory in my heart. Yeah. I await your decision. Close hailing frequencies. Right, let's get the bridge on this. Let's see what's going on here. I pay you my patience is growing thin, Captain. If you lack the stomach to slay the beast aboard your vessel, any <laughs> Klingon here boy, would gladly it? do it for you. I'd hate for you to stain that pretty Starfleet uniform with Undine blood. Yeah, we don't want any stuff and stains on our uniform. Uh, then the story. beast is slain? Maka! Very good. Perhaps the heart of a warrior after all. Let me look upon our enemy, and tonight we will dine together as warriors and drink to the honored dead. Oh yeah, sounds like a party. Right. Captain, I take my meditations very seriously. Why have I been summoned to the bridge? Alive? You're a fool, Captain! Strike now before it's too late! Thinks he's are uh, undying. You want proof? Then lower your shields and allow me to beam over. Once the undine's blood coats my blade, you'll see it for what it truly is a grint hound in Tark's clothing. Right. There's no need, Captain. The situation is not difficult to unravel. My concern lies in the logic of you entertaining this. Klingons meritless right, play. So what do we do? Do we um, let the Klingons up on to uh, stab him? Or do we just let him go? A most illogical conclusion. Allow us to examine the facts, Captain. You have a crippled Klingon vessel, whose captain has made unsubstantiated claims that I am an Undine, a species that is known to both the Federation and the Klingon Empire as a considerable threat. It does look like a bit of a slimy bugger, doesn't it? Potentially. But only if a great many other factors were to be true. Is it not much more likely that the Klingons have, in the face of defeat, instead sought to exploit Starfleet's desire for peaceful resolutions to conflict in order to repair their vessel and renew their assault? Rule warrior strikes without mercy, Captain! I only hope to teach you this lesson personally before the Undine does. We may not be able to best your vessel, but a Klingon knows many roads to victory. The beast may have evaded my vengeance for now, but I can still ruin its plans here at Pajem. Right. Captain Shalai accompany you. No, it's too dangerous. A wise precaution. 
Though I admit I am eager to see my people safe, I will await word until the monastery is secured. And Captain, let not my journey here be for naught. Yeah, I'm not sure about him. Right, away team. <clears throat> That's me on the left. Uh, I'm not that good looking at all. I'm a bit of an ugly bastard, to be honest. Um, right, that'll do it. Let's see what's down on the surface on PGM. Oh, this is a bit better. A bit better uh, foliage. Right, let's see what we're doing. Right, I think we've got some buggers up here. There's a red dot. I think we've got our, uh, one shooting. isn't it? Looks like we're going to turn them up here. This uh, open grate. Alright, so it's like you're, uh, you can get extra stuff. Small hypo. In case we get shot in the R's. Okay, proceed up. There's a good view of them. There's my uh, sun pack lighting. Take a good view of them out. Who are these fellas here? Yeah. Oh, speak to these buggers. He's a monk. Vulcan security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Soketh. Oh, God. They have determined that he was killed by a phaser blast at short range. His remains were discovered in a stasis chamber hidden in a cavern beneath the Ambassador's residence. The Ambassador on your ship, the one that I have been working for, is right. an imposter. So he wasn't on day. You need to be very careful. This imposter was able to fool Soketh's closest associates for months. He is crafty and very patient. Now that he has been discovered, he will be dangerous. Right, let's kill him. There he is. Such emotion on your face. I see now my deception has been exposed. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. You are weak, and the weak shall perish. Jesus, he's a big bugger. Right, let's do him. I 
don't think it's recycling. Oh, okay. Oh, little robot that was just behind me that I got that on one of the events that's just passed um, it's a bit bloody annoying to be honest captain there is an undying ship on the intercept course right let's do it let's just do it This is Captain LaForge of the USS Challenger. Glad to see we made it here in time to lend you a hand. Surely LaForge. Perhaps you'll return the favor someday. Next Forge generation? System. Right, so that was our first big kill of uh, the Undine. Uh, they were good aliens, the Undine. Uh, I think they, yeah, they were first in Voyager, weren't they? Yeah, right, so I think that's it. That's the first mission over. Um, we'll just report back. Diplomatic orders. The ambassador was an Undine? <clears throat> I'm afraid their infiltration of the Federation goes much deeper than we realized. Who knows what kind of havoc they could create? Who knows? Right, so that's the first mission in the uh, Klingon story. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it give you a little bit of help, a little run through before you do it. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video and you would, would consider subscribing, that would be absolutely bonza. Uh, until next time, guys, take it easy.